This is Behind Closed Doors, a series of short films getting into buildings you can't normally get into. And this is Woolworth Town Hall, a former civic building on the Woolworth Road in SC17 Southwark. This is actually a really exciting episode because it's one of our projects. Fights and Merlin are the architects on this one and our clients General Projects are supporting this episode. Together with them, we're going to transform this building into a new community and workspace hub. One of the key moves we're doing is creating a new main entrance to the building right here on the new wall of Square. So those windows over there in the middle of the building are going to be transformed into doors that will open up into a new terrace with a set of steps that will come down to greet the square, creating a new civic relationship between the building and the public realm. Sadly, this building suffered a pretty significant fire in 2013. It's a Grade 2 listed building, so it's now on Historic England's at-risk register. So it's really important that we're getting back in here and piecing it all back together. The contractors Connemar are making a start in a couple of weeks. And so that means hopefully in a couple of years, we should be finished with this building and welcome you back. And that's likely to be about 10 years since that first fire started. Despite the fire, there's actually some really beautiful heritage features that remain and some really lovely characteristics that we can see. And there's some quite sort of hauntingly beautiful things to see inside. Julia Fikes, the Fikes from Fikes and Merlin's on site now. We're going to go and find her and she's going to show us around. So this is Julia Fikes. She's leading the project on site and she's going to show us around the building. Yes, this is actually a really great place to start our little tour of the building. The main staircase taking you up to the first floor and these amazing three stained glass windows greeting you just as you turn to walk up the stairs. So whilst this room was not directly affected by the fire, you can clearly see the damage caused by the water the firefighters used to extinguish the fire, especially if you look up at the original Latin plaster ceiling or what's left of it. We've got some amazing historic features in this room. These arched recesses in the walls, which as a theme repeat throughout the rest of the building. We've got an amazing stone staircase, which is currently hidden under this Ashfeld covering. And under this boxing here, we've got some beautiful cast iron ornate balustrading, which you're just gonna have to believe me about right now. Um, and of course, we've got a roof light um, and under this 80s gridded ceiling uh, that you can see here, you've actually got a much more in keeping leaded lantern we fly it. Through here is the original council chamber where the fire started just in the roof above there. You can get a real good sense of the scale of destruction the fire has caused there. And also you get a very unique perspective of the ground floor spaces that will form the lobby and new reception. Just walking into the old public viewing gallery to the council chamber. Ever since the fire, there's been a temporary roof covering this entire space. And part of our refurbishment will obviously see the reinstatement of the original roof line. But this time with a cross laminated timber structure, all exposed and the huge light feature in the middle that will emulate a roof light. So this room would have been the mayor's parlor. It's definitely one of our absolute favorite rooms in the building. These super tall windows are just incredible. And if you look up, you can see the burned original timber beams just worked into the new roof construction. This room has got another set of these amazing arched recesses that we love so much. In fact, these ones are going to stay pretty much like that. We like them so much that we decided to paint them and try out all of the different colors that we've decided to use throughout the refurbishment. This part of the building is just so lovely. The colors and the proportions of the rooms are almost perfect. And in fact, on a sunny day, these rooms are completely flooded in daylight. And lastly, I just wanted to show you another one of the original stone staircases in the building. This one we absolutely love because of the ornate tiled dado. It runs all the way down to the basement. We're actually extending this staircase in a much more contemporary way to the new third floor, but hopefully we'll be able to show you that in a couple of years' time. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Julia for showing us around, to General Projects for supporting this episode, and to Southwark and to Historic England for being so supportive throughout this whole process. 
I can't wait to come back and show you the completed building. I really look forward to it. It's such an important project for us and we can't wait to see this complete.